Okay, so apparently, uh, I went ahead and checked Arkazult's stats in between videos. And according to its base stat total, it actually has the best possible nature for itself. Its speed is its lowest stat, and its attack is its highest. So that means that Arkazult is going to be a long-term member of the team. Um, I might even keep it till endgame, because this is actually a pretty good Pokemon. Plus, I mean, I kind of just, I kind of just want to care for it. It makes me really sad because it's all cold, and I don't like that. It's, it's making me sad. All right, Ugh. Well, let's see what it can learn. Wild Charge, Electro Ball. Anything else here? Ice Beam, Bulldoze. <sighs> Finally, something with some freaking ground coverage. Good lord. Um, I think I should probably give it Ice Beam. Hold on, let me see what it has by default. Thundershock, Powdered Snow, yeah, I'm going to give it uh, Wild Charge and Ice Beam, because it needs those moves more. Gives it a bit more uh, power to work with. I'll give it Ice Beam over Powdered Snow. And then Wild Charge over Thundershock. Electro Ball is not a bad one, but Electro Ball also relies on the Pokemon's speed stat. So it's a little bit annoying. Now Charge, I want to get rid of that. But I don't have anything else I can replace. I'm looking at this properly. Thunder Wave, but eh. Payback. Rock Blast. Oh, okay. I'll go with that then. I didn't notice I could use that. That's good. This actually gives Arctivolt, Arctazolt 100% perfect coverage with super effective damage on at least 60 to 70% of the entire type spectrum. So that's awesome. And it looks like I'm in an old west town now. Or a Mexican town? Well, it is the UK, so it'd probably be more Spanish influence. And I mean Spain Spanish, by the way. Oh, I never did check. Oh no, the fucking ghost thing evolves by like a certain cup. So I'm actually going to put it back in the fucking PC because it's not going to do me any good right now. Uh... Oh, come on. Okay. So who do I want to replace it with then? I... Uh, um... I'm tempted to do... Lucario... as a temp. I'm not sure. Arctazolt is definitely better than uh, Toxel's uh, evolution. I don't remember what it's called, though. Dreadnought is not necessary because I have Intellon, Intellion. I don't want to use any past yet, Pokemon, like I said. Huh. Oh, no. I'm trying to think. Hmm. I guess I'll swap it back out for Orbital. Orbital is the only Psychic type I have. Speaking of, maybe I should give it a better move set. Payback. It's not a physical attacker, it's a special attacker. Uh, I might as well give it Psychic. Probably would work better anyway right now. Yeah, because it's, uh, well... Yeah, I mean, Psyneem isn't bad. 
I kind of want to save Psychic for a different Pokemon. Orbital is not exactly going to be a mainstay in the team. I have two Shadow Ball TM, so I can give it one of those, though. Pull off Light Screen for that. What else can we give it? Energy Ball? Yeah, oh, I have three of them. Okay. Oops, not Send a Scorch. This also gives me some grass coverage, which I also don't have. Thankfully, I haven't needed it too dramatically, with the exception of um, dealing with a lot of Dreadnoughts with my Inteleon. But, not too bad, anyway. Alright. That looks like a Chandelure. That is a noisy Maractus. Alright. Am I the only one getting, like, Super Mario Odyssey vibes from this town? Uh, to an extent. Oh god, that does not look safe. <laughs> You're just levitating a giant dumbbell bell thing right over a child's head. In roofs. Oh. Interesting. I don't know exactly where I'm going. Just exploring. Metal coat. That'll be useful. Oh! I have a Maractus, I think? Yes, I do. I caught this fucking thing off screen. Oh, it was a pain in the ass to catch. I caught it when I was still training up my Inteleon, and it one shot at the damn thing with Giga Drain. And yes, so you can take my Maractus, I will take your Hatena. Well, that was good. At least I had a fucking use for that thing. And then I'll put Hatsuna in my party in exchange for something. Take good care of Fringe. Alright. Via the protrusion on its head, it senses other creatures' emotions. If you don't have a calm disposition, it will never warm up to you. Okay, so... Let me see here. Oops, not Pokemon. Pokemon R. After I just gave all that fucking shit to Orbital, I'm immediately pulling it back out of the party. Okay. There it is. Let's see what Fringe has here. Quiet Nature, which is perfect. That's exactly the nature you want for this Pokemon. Fringe has a very low speed stat, but, or sorry, Hatchina has a very low speed stat, but with this, it doesn't really matter. It does hit like a truck with its special attack stat. No Dark Pulse. Can't learn Shadow Ball, so I might as well give it Dark Pulse then. It already has side beam, heal pulse I don't need. Also, they did actually change something that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, in my other file, I actually have a Gardevoir because uh, obviously, of course I do. Um, and in that, I just I found out that apparently Gardevoir now has access to side beam, which, uh, granted, you guys wouldn't know anything about this, but in a previous a previous attempt at a Let's Play that I sadly deleted, uh, I played uh, Pokemon XG Next Gen, which is the Pokemon uh, XD Gale of Darkness ROM hack. And in that ROM hack, uh, they actually have Gardevoir knowing Psybeam. So apparently Game Freak took a page from something they probably had no idea about and decided to incorporate that. And I like that, that's pretty cool. It's a much better move than frickin' fucking confusion, anyway. 65 base power as, as opposed to 50 with the same exact effect. Alright. Magical Leaf will be a good filler for the time being. 
I'm gonna, let me see. I'm gonna use some of these, actually, hold on. Let me use just a rare candy. I don't know what level this thing evolves at. Um, I really don't know what this thing evolves at. Oh, it's evolving now, apparently. That's good. Now, while it is evolving, I'm gonna go on my here. And look up exactly what level this thing evolves into its final format. This is also the uh, female counterpart to another Pokemon uh, called Impidimp, which is a 100% male Pokemon that has uh, semi-mirrored stats. Okay, so it evolves a level 42 into its final form, and I will wait because I really don't need to evolve it into its final form right now. But the fact that I can is cool. Also, I'm going to leave Arctazolt at level 10 because the uh, extra XP gain that it'll get will help it with uh, learning some new, or gaining some more, uh, fuck, what's it called? Uh, IVs. All right, now I have Venoshock. I already have Sludge Bomb, and I don't think many Pokemon can learn Venoshock that can't learn Sludge Bomb. I know there's a couple, like Butterfree, for example, but... That still looks incredibly dangerous. Why are you raging a fucking thing over a child's head? Kevin. Still not sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. The only thing I can do is get stronger, right? I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Okay, so this is actually a first in Pokemon. This is character development for your rival. Yeah, I mean, well, not the first, I guess, because technically Silver had character development across the entire, entire game of Gold and Silver. But over the past several generations, your companion rival has basically been the same from start to finish. Also, that is a very bad type matchup. Uh, I did not realize he would have that. And I can't use Arctivolt yet because it's too low level. Um, fuck. <laughs> um, um, blah, 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 blah. What am I going to do? I'll just go with Inteleon at this point. Also, Inteleon's name just keeps making me think of an Eevee evolution. Wait, you dove underwater? We're in the desert. How are you doing that? I'm gonna waste this because I don't know if it'll do anything. Probably not. Nope. Okay, so what the fuck? Where did I get the fish from? I know it's a water flying test, so I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna fucking strike it real hard. What the fuck? Ow! What the hell did it just do? Did it just vomit a fish at my face and lower my defense because of it? That's unique. I guess that's not something to do with its ability. Dark Pulse, motherfucker. I think Inteleon would have benefited from being a water dark type, though we already had a starter like that with Greninja, so it probably would have been better for that if not. Okay. Oh, Silicobra. Okay, so you finally actually have better Pokemon on your team now. That's good, at least. I notice you have four, though, which means somebody was replaced. Because you had three, and I already see two different ones. And I highly doubt you got rid of your your fucking fire pipe. pipe. Boxel? Wait, so you replaced Corviknight too? 
That's different. I wasn't expecting that. So he replaced Corvus Squire, not Corvus Knight, Corvus Squire, and his uh, little sheet thingy. Okay, so that's cool too. I mean, not a lot of uh, rivals change their Pokemon like that. And Rabbit, Raboot. All I can do is try to win now, but all I can do is try. There's nothing else for it. Well, unfortunately, um, you're attacking me with a fire type when I have a fully evolved water type. It's gonna fucking pull out its finger and blast you in the face with water. Can I just say right now that, that is a badass animation to show using a new move? Love it. The Archibald wants to use that. I don't need that. Strategy's going right to pot when I... My strategy goes right to pot when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Damn, this kid's actually having emotional issues here. I didn't have to match up the potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. Lee is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. Not enough. I gotta try harder and harder and harder till no one's laughing. This seems like a Naruto thing right now. All except for the brother thing. Huh. Interesting. God damn, where'd you come from, lady? Why worry about the ch saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Here's something for letting me watch your battle. What do you mean, letting you watch my battle? Where even were you? Just disappeared and reappeared. I don't know what's going on. I'm challenged by having fun. How do you walk so slow and yet somehow manage to sneak up on me without me noticing? A little terrifying. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, twins! Okay, I need to heal. So I should be able to take on the uh, Stow Inside Gym. Stow On Side. Stow On Side. That's a dumb name. Is that the name of the town? That's like the dumbest fucking name for a town in a game I've ever heard. What's the name of the town? The town of Stow On Side. On an ancient mural tucked away in the mountain. Stow, Stow Inside? What is? What kind of name is that? Uh, oh, excuse me. What do you have? Sharpie? No. Razor Claw? No, I don't want... If you can bring what I need today, I'll give you a good reward. Today, I'm buying a star piece for $14,000. Okay, it's a bit weird, but whatever. Alright, let's just head right for the fucking gym. I'll worry about some side paths after this. So since I'm going to be fighting a fighting type gym, I do have some ability to actually get through this thing with my new psychic type Pokemon. Yes. I was going to change, but the damn door wouldn't open. Alright. Go number 282. Oh yeah, it's Gardevoir Master Time, Master of Gardevoirs. Oh, that looks safe. What the fuck? Please tell me I don't have to use the gyroscope for this because I can't. I have to use the fucking, oh God, this is giving me some major fucking Zelda vibes. Low on sides, Jim. To complete the mission, you need to ride in one of these cups and make it with the way your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit about how to operate this function, this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right, and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate to the left, and the cup will spin left. You hit a wall. Rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. 
and you have a good time watching the world spin if you try to reach the goal. This, uh, I'm getting pachinko vibes now. Okay, this does not- <laughs> He ran like hell! I don't like this idea. Really don't. Oh god. Oh god, I really don't like this idea. Okay. Now this is very awkward. It's a very awkward design. It's very unorthodox and I don't think I like it. Oh, a stuffle. It should have fluffy, so fire type moves will do extra damage. Flame Wheel is like the perfect move for this Pokemon. Judging by the damage I just did, it does not have the fluffy ability. Then the Scorch has some really good HP though, honestly. It was like 110 or 120 something base, maybe not 120, like 100 and something. It's, it's higher than 100, I think. Alright, Inteleon and Arcus will both level up. Oh, that does not look fun. Uh, Fringe? Let's go with you, buddy. Oh, excuse me, goodness. I think I can change its nickname to its actual name, because I remember something about that before. Dazzling Gleam, easiest way. Oh, you're gonna squeeze my thing. That's, that's cool. That's cool. And you're dead. Not dead. You're not dead. You, you should have been dead, but you did not. You did not do the dead. Why did you do not the dead do? Why? Oh god, fuck! I'm dead. Oh no, okay. <laughs> that was a close call. I don't know if there's a lot of creaking. I keep trying to shift with my feet on my chair. I'm sitting in a chair while using my other chair on my feet. Moving as I do with my feet. Okay, so let's see. I need to heal. That bugger is gonna be my best shot at beating this gym easily. Of, I'll swap it out for the front spot. All right, it's teacup time. Left, right, right, no! Right, right, left, left, right, no, fuck. Oh, this is, this is unorthodox. Punching bag glove. Whoa, 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 whoa. Punching bag glove. Eee. Oh god, oh god. I'm getting major pachinko vibes right now. I think I'm gonna lose my lunch. It's like a really weird game of pinball. Again, I don't know if I like this. It's interesting, I'll say that. Is a very interesting design for a gym. All right, Claire. Oh, Galarian Farfetch. Okay. Uh, Dazzling Gleam should kill you. I don't exactly know what Galarian Farfetch's stats are though. Blam. Okay, that was easy. It is a fighting type after all, so it's not gonna survive a very powerful fairy move. One of the biggest downsides to fighting types, the introduction of fairy type Pokemon. Okay. I like that model too, it's kinda pretty. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. Whoa! Okay. Okay. That's not the right way to go. I don't think that's the right way to go. Gonna spin counterclockwise, rather. 
Uh, uh, it's counterclockwise. Right? Uh, uh, no dicks, 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 dicks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was gonna throw me off somewhere, but as a Pokemon game, it's not gonna throw me off into oblivion. Okay, last trainer before the fucking gym leader. Get more Lee. Bring it on, Lee. I'm gonna hit on you into oblivion. Oh, and I think I just got why uh, my little girl here is not doing really good, good damage with uh, freaking dazzling gleam because I'm like Perlia and Ralts. It is not half fairy type until it finishes evolving. I forgot about that. My bad. It don't slip my mind. Okay. Munchan. As long as you don't have a dark type move, I should be fine. Okay. Actually kind of glad I'm not a fairy type right now because that probably would have done a lot worse. That's not going to kill you, of course. Don't use a fighting move. Thank you. Or sorry, I meant dark move. Bullet punch I can handle. That's not a big deal. You don't have Iron Fist anyway, as far as I can tell. Alright. Be gone! I'm really just giving Arctazolt the better chance to gain some actual, you know, points to its stats. You know what I mean? I'm very tempted to just go for the fucking level up for uh, my little... What is it called? What is this thing called? Hatrem. Hatrem, okay. It reminds me so much of Gothita and uh, Skeeny. Being that it's kind of like a, um, it's like a curly clone. I have no problem with this. I find it weird though, that of all the Pokemon to have clones of it in a way, it's Gardevoir. I mean, I might just be the one reading too much into these things. Oh god. Big thighs save lives, don't they? I am Bay. <laughs> Bea? Or B? You have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you are attacked? I think I'll let I'll just test that out, shall I? Is this girl as flexible as Nessa? Because if she is, I might have some fun with this. He is cute. Alright, B. Time for that kick-ass fighting thing. Oh, she's got abs, too. Jesus. I love the theme for this fucking gym. It's gonna use revenge. I can tell that from just by the fact that it's moving last. Oh, hit itself though, so that's fine. Can't do much to me if you can't move. There's no way that him on top is slower than my hatch run. Hatch run. Alrighty. What next? Pangaro. Okay. Wait, I forgot that things have dark type. As long as she doesn't use a dark type move on me, I should be fine. Dazzling Link? Ah, fuck. Son of a bitch. Okay. I have nothing else with a good... Oh, I have this guy. Girl, whatever. Corviknight should be able to do some serious damage considering the level difference and Drill Tech being a very powerful flying stab move. Plus, I do have a uh, attack nature on her. That should... Okay, one hit KO. I'm good with that. Works for me. Pangaro doesn't have great defenses. It's just a pretty strong physical attacker. 
Perfect. Is that your ace? How many Pokemon do you even have? Is it three, it's four, okay. I don't think that's her ace. Mm, no. Revenge. Fighting types really love their revenge, don't they? Alright. Now for her ace. Cham! Ah, okay. Time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Okay, this might be problematic. Uh, Dynamax, Max Airspring. She is going to Gigantamax that thing. Considering the fact that the previous gym leader, the Fire Guy, Gigantamaxed his Santa Scorch. I do know that Machamp could be Gigantamaxed as well. So this... Wait a minute, am I Gigantamaxing? Oh no, I'm just Gigamax... Dynamaxing. Thought I was Gigantamaxing. Let's just destroy everything. Your skill is worthy of respect. Uh, I am... What the god? Wow, that is terrifying. That is a big fucker. Max Airstream. Oh, damn. That did more damage than I expected it to. And I'm faster now. Cheese Strike. I use Karate along with my Pokemon. What does that do? Oh god. Oh, I barely did anything. Huh, I guess I was, you know, all terrified for nothing. I'm faster, I hit way harder. Damn, I was expecting a lot worse than that from a fucking Machamp. That's one of the highest base stat attacks of all the fighting type Pokemon in the series. I mean, it basically defined the fighting type from the beginning of the series, for God's sake. I don't want Swagger. Arcazole, Ancient Power? Ancient Power over Rock Glass. Yeah, I'll go with that. I kind of want another special attack move on it. And Shrink, Big Bird. Good job. He may not be as strong as defensively as uh, Stormory, but still. I got 5,700 bucks for winning. She has some very thick thighs. Just for a youngin. Oh, she's got pretty eyes. Facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to see unshakable in the good to be unshakable in the face of battle. But it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you, thank you again. Take the fighting bag. Oh, she is taller than me by a good degree, actually. I'm surprised by that. That's the left. Bottom left. She is very cute. Hope that you'll meet many more trainers and have more matches in the future. Alrighty. What team do I get? Go figure. Revenge. Revenge is a dish best served. Sweet. And I now have the Fighting Gi. Alright, so I think I'm still needing to be healed. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a good thing that I like about this game too, is that it heals you right after the gym is over. But we are hitting the 35 minute mark, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Guys, like, watch channel, links to my Twitter, my Patreon, the description down below. Support me on the bell, too. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTube for fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.